Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Community of the Light Tarot. I am back with you, Pisces, for another love reading. Now, this is the Star Spinner Tarot. Now, if you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And to those of you who are returning, please make sure that you have subscribed as well. This is a very colorful deck. So if this storyline does not resonate with you, check out my playlist. There's plenty of other Pisces readings in there, whether they are dated or not. Go by the title because these readings are pretty specific. So if you find one that the title resonates with you, I check it out. All right. And please make sure that you give this a thumbs up. It gets spread to other Pisces that need to hear this healing message. Now I ask that your higher self, your guides come in and talk to mine so we can give the highest and best information that is available at this moment for you. All right, this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. They wanted to have two overall cards for this reading. The Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. All right. The font here is a little small, so I need to pick these up and look at them. Okay, Spirit saying they want me to go on the picture and how it inspires, and they will direct on, okay. So you're feeling a little impoverished. You're feeling a little down about your financial situation. In the passion department, you've got plenty of it because this is the king of wands. You are looking to the coin and you are trying to stay focused on what you're trying to manifest. Now with your person, they've got the wheel of fortune here. They understand that things come and go. They're also trying to relax and let go of something. And here's the tower. And like I said, flip the storyline as it reads. Because someone here is feeling defensive. But also someone's feeling that reciprocation, that love, like knowing each other from the past, past life, or this life. I feel that you're so focused on your finances right now that it is disrupting this situation. And your person is feeling like, oh, I don't know if, you know, that you really want them. You've got the four of coins here. So you're, you are just trying to hold on, or your person, like I said, flip the storyline as it reads, trying to hold on to their coin. They're trying to get a grasp of what is going on and re, you know, keeping a hold of what they have. Now here's the 10 of wands. Both of you are feeling a lot of burden. It's like you want to spend more time with them, but you need to make money. You know, and here's the world card, knowing that, you know, things will come back into order. But I can feel your fear about your financial situation. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Now, Spirit, have they told them why they're not available? No, kind of keeping it to oneself. Sorry, I'm busy. I can't do it tonight. And this person here is taking it uh, personally. Like, oh, they don't really like me. Here is the Queen of Wands. So there is a lot of fiery passion here. You feel very passionate about this person. But it's like you just don't have time. You've, you're, there's other parts, you know, your financial world is really, really taking up your time. Now, you want a new start. You want this grounded. You want to make sure that everything is in line. Because it's, it's almost like you're coming at, out at this as a, at a disadvantage. Now, you don't like it at all. You're used to being one that's, you know, the king of chalices, the king of cups, where you're like, I got this. I got everything handled. I got my money. I got my love. You have your love. Just whatever's happened to you financially at the moment has really separated you. So here is the four of chalices with this. So it's like they're starting to feel apathetic about this love. They're like, I'm trying to rest. I'm trying to take some time. But when is this going to change? You know, they've been waiting for a while and they, you know, they don't know what's going on. You know, with this four of swords is the six of swords. So it's like you're, you know, they're in a purgatory because you're not telling them what this is all about. But the tower is the seven of cups. So it's like they feel like that you might have other options. And this is not what this is about at all. I just feel like your pride and ego has gotten in the way and you don't want them to know how bad your financial situation really is. You know, because they see you as this, this beautiful, accomplished person. Now, Spirit, why haven't they just come clean and said, hey, I'm having some financial issues, and that's why I really can't be around too much. It's too embarrassing for you. You want to be able to offer something more, but you can't. Not right now, not with all these burdens. You know, and this might be inv you know, involved with children as well. Children as burdens. Another thing you need to take care of. And of course, you know, they're not just burdens, but that's, you know, with this Ten of Wands here, that's what it's feeling like. With this World card comes the Queen of Pentacles. And that's what they want to be able to offer you. And so you can, well, you want to be able to offer them this Queen of Pentacles. So this storyline is starting to get... Um, not mixed up, but I can see that it'll depend on what your storyline is. So just keep a hold of if you're the one with the money problem or disheartened that you think the person with the money problem doesn't want you because that's not the case. All right. So we're going to go into these cards here. Okay. So they... The guides definitely want this to go into an extended, which means that it is on Patreon. The description, um, the link in the description box will be there. It'll be $5 a month. It's unlimited access to all extended readings for all signs. And you can cancel at any time. Like let's say you just want to watch this one, you can cancel after that. But you still get a month's worth of viewing pleasure. So you need to release your ego, your pride, you know, and this is really going into 
your self-esteem issues, your worth, your self-worth issues. Then you actually might be doing a little numbing and they might be doing a little numbing too because they're just like, oh my God, they don't really want me. You know, because of that, you need to take a look at this more closely and realize that you need some solitude. You need to get back into balance and see why money defines who you are. And of course, especially in the masculine side, they're programmed to, that's how you're worthy. If you can, you know, have somebody have a roof over their head and take care of them, you know, be the breadwinner. And, you know, we need to smash that programming. And it's, this financial problem is making you feel like that you're revisiting those old hurts, those old things that, you know, reconfirmed for you that you're a loser, that you're not worth it. You know, and obviously shadow work is definitely on the horizon. You know, and honestly, it's for your person as well. They're being triggered just as much as you are. But you're out of your pride, you're not choosing to say anything, which would alleviate this person's um, feeling of rejection. However, on the bottom of the deck, divine timing has shown. So this is something where it's triggered both of you for a reason. You know, and who wants to have, you know, a financial issue be an awakening point. But if you are been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that there's always a reason for everything. We might not like it at all. So now we have divine timing and patience. So you're going to be, you need to be patient with yourself and others. Okay, so go ahead and ask yourself a yes or no question. It's so funny, I almost said, and let me know when you're ready. <laughs> you ready? Okay, the answer is no. Now, Spirit, what can be done here to move things along? I'm hearing nothing at this moment that both of you are stuck. They're thinking you don't want them. You're just trying to make a buck. You're trying to make sure that you have enough money to take care of what you need to take care of. Yeah, this is about the self-worth. You know, does this mean anything about you? And that, that goes for both of you. You know, if someone doesn't want you and they're not sharing, does that mean <clears throat> that somehow you're not worth it? No, it means somebody else has something they that that they're going that's going on for them that they don't want to share because they're embarrassed. Because they have let pride and ego take over. You know, and I can tell your energy is very overwhelmed. And there's, I can feel that there is this stubbornness that goes along, <clears throat> excuse me, with it also. Yeah, it's kind of like you're, you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Make sure that the house looks good. Make sure we got the good car, da, da, da. <clears throat> excuse me, you're very wrapped up in the physical aspects of self-worth. Okay, so any final messages for those who are not going to join us in the extended? You've got patience and divine timing here. So know that this is going to take some time. Because there's a lot of stubbornness that you're carrying around. So in the extended, we're going to look and see, you know, what can be done to move this along how your person's going to feel. Are they going to keep wanting to stay with you? 
Are both of you going to do your healing? And, you know, granted, you don't have to go and finish it all before you can come back together, but, you know, I wish you well if you decide not to do the extended, but just know this is going to take some time and there's shadow work involved and self-worth. All right, you guys, this is Davida from Medium of the Light Tarot. I hope that this was helpful, Pisces. Make sure you give a like, share, and subscribe so it gets to other Pisces that need to hear this healing message. Because this is something that's very typical, I would say. Not typical, that's not the right word. You know what I mean. Happens often. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye for now.